This episode, be careful, because you'll shoot an eye out. This episode of Scam School is the science project gone awry from GoDaddy and Gamefly. Welcome to the show that takes your childhood dreams and perverts them into adult nightmares. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. And I don't know about you, but ever since I was a kid, I wanted to throw Chinese throwing stars. I want to be able to throw cards like Gambit. And so today, that's exactly what we learn, how to throw cards. What is going on, Ron Richards? I, fanboy, have you been? Good to see you. Awesome. Very well. And Marcy, it was good to meet you for the first time. Nice Welcome to, to Revision you. 3. All right, now we're going to play a little bit of Gambit. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so oh, I say Gambit, alley. and you immediately think of... Blowing up bad guys. That, no, throwing cards. You throw <laughs> right, right, those well, cards. <laughs> <laughs> Did you always want to be able to do that? Just like, <laughs> pew, throw them off like a bullet? Ever since I first saw him do it. Now, I don't claim to be like the best card thrower in the world. There's some super talented one. Rick Smith can throw practically a football field. Ricky Jay wrote the book, Cards as Weapons. But I want to teach you guys the basic principles of card throwing. And there's a couple things we're going to go for. One is distance, and the other is penetrating power. And both of them rely most heavily on one thing, and that's getting the most spin possible. In this case, we actually have, I picked this up from the hardware store. It's actually uh, insulation sheeting that's actually coated in aluminum foil. I assume it's aluminum foil, but with just a regular playing card, you can get enough spin that it'll actually pierce right through that, embed itself an inch deep in the foam Jesus. board, and you guys are going to learn how to do that. Sound good? Sure. Awesome. awesome. All right, let's talk about some domain smacks. As you know, domains are so ridiculously cheap through our sponsor at GoDaddy.com. We've been registering them just to make a point. Now, usually that point is to insult one of your friends, but sometimes it's to insult the man. For example, Sean McLean sent me this gem. He registered www.therealtonightshow.com and forwarded it to Conan O'Brien's live tour. Freaking epic, it's beautiful. Now, if you want to create your own domain smack, head on over to www.godaddy.com and use the promo code SCAM10 at checkout. You'll get your domain for $7.49. You've got that money sitting in your couch cushions right now, and the best part is they will forward it anywhere you want absolutely free. Next stop, tell me what you came up with. Be clever, be hilarious, be mean, it doesn't matter. Send them to me at brianrevision3.com and we'll feature them right here on the show. Get your piece of the internet at godaddy.com. We're gonna start with baby steps here, okay? First thing we're gonna do is, I just want you to try just to get the card over there to actually hit that back wall because that's more than most people are able to do right off the top. So here we go, you take a few cards, you take a few cards. Let me see what you guys would do if you just had to throw a card, just reach the wall is all you have to do. That's, thanks. Oh yeah, oh, okay, this is gonna be. <laughs> I like the overhand, no, keep going, this is good. This is overhand is good. Well, he oh, has his hand on. Uh, that one, that one hit the curtain oh, almost. Right. Jeez, this is yeah. embarrassing. Okay, <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, just just do one of those yeah. <laughs> and see where it can go. Okay, okay. First lesson. It's all about the spin. Now you guys just sort of just hurled it every way, and a lot of people develop their own technique to how they position their arms. But to me, the core of it is getting the card to whip itself out of your hand. And the way I do it is by pinching just the corner of the card as lightly as I can, and then I kind of swing my hand forward and just, I don't even quite let go because that would be too difficult on timing. Instead, what I do is I hold it lightly enough that just the action of swinging my hand forward, it departs, it rips itself out from between those fingers, oh, right? So you'll, no, you'll notice I'm not whipping my arm really fast. You're not even flicking your wrist. I'm not, I'm not uh, exactly. Yeah, it's right. like I'm bringing my arm, there's a little bit of wrist spin yeah. from here to here, right. but it's very relaxed, and it, the idea is just to pinch it as loosely as you can, and just, look at that. Just with, just with the lazy maneuver, you're able to get enough that the card will actually pen penetrate the foam. Like that. So wow. try it again. This time again, uh, just practice holding it really, really loose. Mm -hmm. And here's what we're gonna do: is on three, you're just gonna, you're just gonna, you're gonna pull your wrist open while your arm goes forward, and just hold it so loose that it just lets itself go out. Okay. All right. 
Oh, it's already in permanent. You, you can see the spin in it. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you yeah, just, yeah. Don't worry about accuracy for right now. We're just on the first oh. one. You just oh. want maximum spin. Already okay. much faster, much better. There you go. I got a curve going on. Oh. There you go. Oh, now I'm you're getting in. it direct. Right, here we go. You're, you're you can it. totally yeah. see the difference. You get it before I do. I suck. Now remember, right now we're working on distance. I just want to see you guys be able to. All right. Hey. Oh, sorry. All right. Wait, did you, did you I got stick? It. I you got, got it. it. You got it. Marcy, I already got it. We already have a winner. I can't believe it. Now, how, how did there it feel? Did it just feel right? It did. It it like sucked it out. Yeah, exactly. We're It'll good. whip itself out of your fingers. So just you pinch it light enough, and then now the the tough thing is consistency at some point. Because at, okay. obviously right now, you guys, have, you've done it already, Marcy, but the trick is to get it consistent. All right, so let's try this. Uh, something different to try. Let me just see you hold, hold this in your hand. Yes, yeah, so you got too much corner in here. You want to barely pinch that corner, very light, light even lighter than that. All right, and then as, and just, just, it should flop up and down like this, is how much of it, there, Marcy's got it. There you go. When you've got it kind of bobbing up and down, that means you've got it the right tightness. Okay. And just, just the slightest bit, just, just, just do that. There you go. And instead, um, now I can tell that you're releasing it because it's flying off to the okay. side. Yeah. You want it to release itself. You want to have enough. Look at that. That was beautiful. Okay. You've All got it. Right. Marcy's oh, star pupil right here. I can't you're in work. remedial mutant killing right oh, now, sorry. Mr. Fanboy. <laughs> If you try to do it as a backhand frisbee thing, then it becomes a timing thing, and you have to release your fingers at the right moment. I'm no good at that. Okay. So instead, I try to make it a sidearm launcher where it starts back here, it propulses forward. Everything I do with the card is, is okay. moving forward, and that way it yanks itself out of the grip between the two Getting fingers. Worse. All right, Marcy, I'll tell you what. I think you got the goods. Yeah. I'm gonna give you three tries. Oh. I wanna see you pierce it. And in fact, we'll even move up. We'll move up to the test line. At this point, you're a failure. Oh! You disappointed your father, son. That's <laughs> <laughs> Marcy is my star student. Okay. All right, here's what I want you to do. I wanna see you get enough force that it actually pierces that foam backing. I wanna make you proud. All right. Oh, nice. first, first try! try. <laughs> Marcy yeah. passes! Yeah. But don't worry, Ron. Look, I've got a remedial course for you. <laughs> After we come back from the break, you're going to learn how anybody can actually pierce the board. <laughs> Even with a pearl like that. I feel like a girl. I was just going to say Dude, I love video games, but just last week, no lie, I paid full price for one, brought it home, and it absolutely sucked. I should have rented from Gamefly. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service which offers you a choice from over 6,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. They've got plans starting at $15.95 a month. Members can get one to four games at a time and keep them as long as they like. If you fall in love with the game, simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Best part, Scam School fans get a free two-week trial when they head on over to www.gamefly.com slash scamschool. Don't make my mistake. Head on over to gamefly.com slash scamschool and never buy a bad game again. Okay, now the truth is, when it comes to learning how to throw cards, you gotta figure out what works best for you. Just remember one thing, spin is all that matters. And you were able to get spin with more of a backhand frisbee motion. You weren't able to get spin at all. <laughs> Whereas I get it more with a kind of frontward sidearm launcher. But in this case, there is a way that everybody, no matter how talented or talentless, can actually oh. throw a card hard enough to punch through the board. And all you need is one of these. Here, I'll give you a couple here, a couple of rubber bands. I got the smaller, thinner rubber bands, because those tend to work better for me. And let me explain what you're gonna do. All right, everybody follow along with me. You're gonna take this rubber band, you're gonna put it between your thumb and forefinger on your left hand. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. Right-handed? Right-handed. Right-handed, awesome. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna put it up like this. You're going to snag the card, just like so, and pinch it. So you've got it about a third of the way in and pinched. And you're gonna pull it back, and when you let go, there we go. Wow. Hey, I'll tell you what works actually, is when you pull it back, you wanna pinch it. I actually pull apart the rubber band, so I'm actually pinching the two of these side by side. Pull yeah. it back. That's it. 
Yeah. Oh, that's the secret yeah, right, that, there. right there. Because otherwise they link on that's themselves. Okay. So right. let's do it. Let's take it again yeah. from. Oh, look at that! You're about to get it. I can feel it. <laughs> He's got the gambit fever. <laughs> the gambit so, rubber band. <laughs> the rubber band gambit. You're like uh, the handy gambit. Yeah. You've got it. You, yeah, you can be gambit, but you need some equipment Special. to help you out. Right. <laughs> so again, I'm you want to separate the two rubber bands like this. Pitch it, pull it back, and then you gotta let go of both rubber bands at the same time. And when you do, it'll go straight forward. Or so you'll hit your face like I did. Yep. <gasps> oh, oh, I thought you were gonna do it. Come so on, close. this is it. We gotta get the moment. All right, we're gonna do this. Now up to the testing range. You got the oh. distance. <laughs> now you're up to the testing range. That's a nice one. Mars, Mars is already <laughs> back. You got three tries. All right, three tries. Three tries. Three oh, tries. The pressure. You, you want it closer? There you go. Farther in there. There you go. Oh, there's one. So close. I know it's so close. Special. Do you earn your place? No. Oh. <laughs> We're not gonna count that one. All right, first try down. Second try. Second try. Oh, yes. you got on the second try. Very good job, Mr. Richards. Oh, congratulations. All right, guys, you guys were freaking fantastic. Thank congratulations, you, you're all honorary graduates much. of Xavier School of Car Throwing. <laughs> sort of. Sort of. Brian, Brian <laughs> Xavier is what the name is. Oh, well, that was great. So thanks. First and foremost, a safety note. Remember, you can poke an eye out, so make sure you pick the right place and the right time to do your practicing. Second of all, keep in mind that the more you use the cards, the more warped they're gonna get, and the less chance they have of flying straight. And third of all, I wanna see some kick-ass video from you guys of exactly how far and how deep you're able to throw your cards. So post them at the boards at scanschool.tv where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. I also want to hear what you want to see in future episodes of Scam School, so hit me up at brian at revision3.com. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool or find out when I am in your hometown hosting spontaneous Scam School meetups by following me at twitter.com slash wood. Next episode, I have a feeling that we're going to be learning what the most fashionable way is to wear eye patches. But until then, it's time to get to the bar. Oh! <laughs> that was right in the eye. Tony, I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs>